New studies show wildfire smoke could be a lot more harmful than previously thought, even for people living far away from the flames. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. Yeah, Alan Martin is off tonight. Researchers are now revealing the damaging risk that comes with smoke exposure from asthma to lead poisoning, and it all began with what was at the time the worst fire on record in California. November 2018, smoke from the campfire blows south and turns day to twilight in the Bay Area. And our lungs? There's a, a, a huge range of health concerns. These fine particles in smoke can increase asthma attacks, can uh, increase susceptibility to infections, and can even contribute to heart attacks and strokes. During the campfire, the town of Paradise went up in smoke and into your lungs, and parts of it were pure poison. Yes, there are toxic components to the smoke with structures and cars, and that these toxic components travel a long way. 150 miles away. That's how far lead and zinc and other heavy metals were carried by the heat of the wind and the flames. So all of this uh, tells us that people do need to be very concerned about protecting their lungs during wildfire smoke incidents. This week, what was California is now being carried to the East Coast. Air quality in Philly and New York is plummeting because of the smoke. But all it would take is a shift in the wind patterns, and we're right back to inhaling this stuff in the Bay Area. When do we have to take care of our lungs with respect to wildfire smoke? Well, any time that you can uh, see the smoke or smell the smoke, mm. um, you should be concerned. Specifically, stay indoors, use high-efficiency filters at home, mask up when you go outside, and take it seriously. Those people who have existing illnesses can be affected uh, more severely and they can take longer to recover from the effects. Yeah, the uh, health risks for children and seniors and pregnant women and people with heart or respiratory conditions is reported to be worse with smoke inhalation.